Hey everybody, JR from JR's Cars and Appliances today. Because what I have going on right now is my washer, the top part of the agitator is not agitating anymore. So I'm gonna open this up, I'll show you what's going on and I'll show you how to fix this. What you can see here is the bottom agitator is agitating really well, but the top isn't moving at all. So if you were having a problem with it where the whole agitator, top and bottom piece, weren't working at all, there's another piece on the bottom side that's attached to the motor that you'd have to replace. And this one I've already ended up replacing before. So what you have is the bottom piece is separate from the top. That one, like I said, is, uh, is driven off of the motor from down below. But this piece here, inside of this cap here, it has these little pieces. They're called agitator dogs. And what happens is over time, you can kind of see there where it has teeth on them. What happens is either the teeth break off or they wear down. And if that agitator gets to the point to where it binds up, it'll break those. Now, it's a good design because these things are really cheap. I, I bought like, I, I don't know, I think there was like 12 of them and it was somewhere around like 8 bucks, something like that. So they're really not that expensive, but it saves you from having to replace this whole thing or replacing the unit itself. So aside from the four agitator dogs, what you're going to need is a 12 millimeter socket and either you can use a flathead screwdriver, but I like using this little clip tool because it's angled like that and you'll be able to get in there and pop it out quicker too. So let me show you how to get it. Right, so looking at your agitator here, if you spin it around, you might have to spin it a couple times, but you can see that there's the little hole right there. What you're gonna do is get your tool in there, see how it slides in, and then we'll pop that top up here. All right, and it'll pop up. Sometimes it'll pop up easy, sometimes it'll take a little bit, but get that cap off. Then you can see this whole piece has to come out as you can see right around the sides you could kind of see the agitator dog right in there and then you can see the teeth that it connects to as the agitator spins around and more than likely these are all worn out and i could probably well i'll show you when they come out but um oh <laughs> there's part of them in there so taking a look from the top here you can see how this would work is that if you spin it to the right it's just going to spin free, but if it spins to the left, it's going to engage those agitator uh, dogs and it's going to engage the teeth on the center here and get it to move. But you can see that's flopping around in there and you can hear that it's not engaging anything. So we got to get that 12 millimeter uh, bolt out of there and then this center piece will come out and that's where the agitator dogs are connected to. So here's your 12 millimeter. You want to have an extension on there to to get in there and that'll pop right out. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the center section out. And when you do this, it may be stuck in there. Um, so what you're gonna have to do, and I can't do this with one hand, um, is you're gonna have to hold the lower part of the agitator down. And then what you might have to do is pull up on the upper part of the agitator just to release this from there because it might be stuck in there. So when you do that, you're holding the lower part of the agitator down and then pulling this section up just so you can get this freed up. And this is what the piece looks like with it out. You can see that's one of the agitator dogs. Um, obviously it's been in there for a while, but uh, the other ones <laughs> came out and laid in there and uh, they were pretty well broken. So you can see here, right? This black collar here is what keeps those in. You can see how they just slide in and out like that. So you can see if I pull this back, that one was missing. That one was that one came out of it. That one broke the uh, the pin off. So that's why this thing wasn't working. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit first, and then I'll show you how to put these in there. And while you're getting everything clean, um, take this completely out. Take the upper part of this completely out. And then bring it over to a sink or something like that that you can really clean the inside of it out and make sure that there's no fragments of any of the plastic left in there because i actually found that inside of these uh, these little grooves 
there were some shards of plastic that were left in there when they broke. So you want to make sure that you get all of that out of there to make sure that that's not going to cause any issues in the future too. Okay, now we're ready to put these back in now that everything is all cleaned up. The only thing that I want to do is I want to grease these in the center here so they ride nicely in the center. But you could see right here where they would go in. They're going to slide right in here, right? And it's going to, like you could see how when it's not engaged, it's in, and when it's engaged, it'll be out like that and it'll grasp and pull. But um, part of what this here is, this discoloration, is uh, is grease. And it looks like it's just on one side, and I don't know why that would be the case. But either which way, I'm going to put a little dab of grease on these. It doesn't hurt anything. Make sure it's in there. Make sure it slides really nice. Then what you do, you're going to take this cap, put that back on there. And again, it only goes in one way because it has teeth that are inside that would line up in here. And there it is. Now they're in there. And it's ready to go back in. All right, so in addition, I put a little dab of grease on the bottom of these things too because it's going to ride on the inside here. So let's put this all back in there. Line everything back up. And there it is. It's back together. Now that it's all back together, we're going to put that bolt back in the center. Okay, and you really don't have to tighten this down a lot. Just enough to make it snug. And yeah, that's good. Okay, now, see how that grabs? That's grabbing. That's not going anywhere. So now we're going to put the cap back on. It's got a seal in there so it holds it in place. Let's put it on there. A little bit of a tap. Okay, now let's see what it looks like when we turn it on. There you have it. Now you can see when I put my fingers on top of it, when I put a little bit of pressure on it, it's still moving. It's not stationary anymore. So it looks like we should be good to go. All right, everyone. So it's as simple as that. It cost a couple bucks to fix, and it saved you from having to replace your unit. So do me a favor. If this helped you out, smash that like button, share it around with your friends, and drop your comments down below. How long have you gone without having to replace those before? Or is it something that you continuously have to replace in your unit? I hope everybody's staying safe and living life to its fullest. And I'll catch you all in the next video.